just 10k select for one week to total uh, 10k yeah 65 oh i only have 10k cash only uh sepulu 10k only yeah no 20 very cheap 20 80, 60 70 80 85 no i have to go i have to go Ow! She hit my piercing. No money. Stealing my money. No, no, steal my money. <laughs> and back at the main art market where we started. These huge buildings and a lot of uh, local giving Balinese check 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 dance pamphlets. Hello. I did. I did. I am burning up here. I just want to go to my bike so I can feel the breeze in my hair. Um, is that? Do you have passion fruit? No, have. This one? Oh, snake fruit. Snake fruit, nice. You can try. Yeah, I can try. I know one, yeah. Oh, okay. I want to try again. Yeah. Try it. Mm -hmm. Mom, what is a shit? Makasi. I mean, yeah. Mmm. Hot kilo. How much is that, Barapa? More me. Mmm. More mangistin? Yep. Just 10k select. Oh, 10k? Yes. Yeah. Or maybe uh, 10k, uh, some salad and this one. Oh, I'm gonna buy man. Yeah. Makasi. I'm gonna man, I'm gonna man too. I'm gonna go to This is rambutan, yeah? Yeah. This one, mango is chili. Mmm. Enough? Uh, for one big. Total uh, 10k? Yeah. Very nice. Mmm. This one, really okay. sweet, good. Sorry? You sound like 65? Oh, I only have 10k cash. Oh, yeah, but Sapulu. Sapulu Yeah, yeah I me mean, only have. Plus, yeah. same man. something 90k so I got three rambo oh whoa there's so many ants uh, lady charged me 15,000 Indonesian rupiah um, I know it's not much in the West uh, but yeah you could 
easily find these salak everywhere on the ground, on the trees. Um, and I asked just for 10,000 Indonesian rupiah worth of fruit and I gave her my cash. And then she took most of my cash and gave me a little bit of fruit. And I was gonna fight for the money back, but I know it means a lot to her. But at the same time, I just, I don't want to make it normalized that they could just kind of treat tourists like that. Like we're just made out of money and you won't give us our honest change back. And I, I don't want to support that. Even though it's a little bit of cash, like I appreciate honest people and I just, it's just not okay to have money hungry people take tourist money like that. It's just, it doesn't feel good. I'm not happy. I'm just gonna eat my fruit, but yeah. Don't steal our money, guys. It's not cool. Give us back the correct change. Okay. Basically, there's no parking over here, but there's a secret entrance next to this oops gelato place. So I'm going to enter. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Makasi, thank you. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> no, I have to go. I have to go. Yeah. Oh no, it's okay. I have to go. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Bye. It's very beautiful. Ow. She hit my piercing. <laughs> this piercing's super sensitive in the double helix. Okay, well. That was an off-putting ending to that. Um, I'm gonna eat my 15,000 Indonesian rupiah worth of fruit. <laughs> I have many already. I have, I have this. See, already. Excuse me, you take the parking. Huh? With the parking. Oh no, it's okay. The parking. It's okay. I already have. So Please I'm gonna the, go now. The parking here. This preferred house have. Uh, Not market head. But it was okay. She said it was okay. Yeah. Yeah, the lady said it's okay. Okay. Makati. <laughs> no money. No money? Yeah, they already charged me. Uh, it's <laughs> stealing my money. No, no, steal my money. <laughs> Park Ubud, which was about a 12 minute motorbike ride from the Ubud Art Market. And basically what it is, it's like this community space. Um, it has accommodation, events, wellness, restaurants, um, co-working, spas, um, pretty much for locals and um, foreigners as well and yeah I'm excited to show you guys what it looks like because I have no idea what it is basically so let's find out <laughs> okay guys here is Park Uwood there is tea literature oh my gosh it smells really good and clothes I cannot look at clothes right now <laughs> Um, beautiful stairs, <laughs> these awesome paintings, and it has information about it and their Instagram there you can scan. Oh wow, they have desserts, they're making cookies here. <gasps> Yum, oh my god, look at this. Cookies 27k, all these desserts. Oh my gosh, in this really cool plane. Very cool looking. There's families here. People working on their laptop. It's like a co-working cafe. Oh. 
these little spaces to work on your laptop, which is really cool. Moving on. Wow, look at this big whale. Interesting. This water bottle. So cool. A lot of space to work on your laptop, chill out, hang out with friends, and a lot of dining spaces, and a lot of cafes. And you can see them cooking over here. Vintage. Wow. Oh my gosh, guys. Wow. Look at the outside. Wow, this is the largest pool I've ever seen in my life. Ooh. Oh my god, wow. That's insane. And then there's like pool chilling areas along the side. People just walking along the pool over there and chilling over there as well. Super cool. This place is amazing. So you got your dining area, your co-working space, some music, place to chill out, um, a huge pool to swim in, and I think those are accommodations right over there. And then you could eat and smoke some hookah. So really cool, guys. So I'm going to find a place to eat my rambutan. <laughs> and I'm going to eat some fruit. And it's crazy how like this place is just free. It's free to come inside here in Park Obud and you could just swim. Bring your kids. Kids over there. Kids swimming over there. Wow. Amazing. <laughs> okay guys, so I just wanted to go back and talk about my experience at the Ubud Art Market. It was really cool. But towards the end, I was really put off, especially by the women. Uh, I was really surprised by how aggressive they were. Basically, um, the first one went, um, I wasn't even hungry. You guys saw me, I, I just ate mi goreng and ice cream. But I saw this lady selling fruit, so I just wanted to help a local and buy some of her fruit. And I only wanted to buy 10,000 Indonesian rupee worth. Um, but she kept stuffing the bag with like a lot of fruit and I was like, no, only sepulu. Um, but basically she was just denying that and I didn't have any change. I had 100k, so I gave that to her and um, as she was giving me change, she was hesitating and basically I, I counted the cash she gave back and it wasn't um, the change for 10,000 basically she stole my money and I knew it and she knew it and I said that wasn't cool I didn't want any fruit but um, at the end I was like trying to fight back for my change but I was like you know, you know what never mind keep it but you know if you I just don't like giving my cash that way like someone just steals it and I'm like okay yeah you can have it um, there are better ways to get it um, and it just sucks because initially I was full I didn't even want fruit and I did it just to be nice to her and in the end she took advantage of my kindness and stole my money so that put me off and I just have all this that's it basically um, and then the second one right after basically I was um, going back to my bike after the fruit and then there was this lady who was trying to sell a sarong. I didn't want any sarong. Um, and then she grabbed my arm and she was like, please buy it, please buy it. And I'm like, I don't want it. And she wouldn't listen to me. And I was getting angry because I was still mad at the fruit situation. And it was really hot. I just wanted to go to my bike. So then she like got really close to me and then she hit my ear, which is my new piercing. And it, super super sore I'm, and she just like banged it so that was just like she grabbed my arm wouldn't let go and then she banged uh, a really sore piercing of mine so that was kind of annoying 
And then um, as I was chilling on my bike, she came back to me and she was trying to sell the sarong again. Um, I said no. I showed her my own sarong that I have and then she just wouldn't take no for an answer. So it's like, what am I supposed to do at this point? You know, I was already upset and I had to stand my ground. You know, you can't always be nice and they can't just treat tourists like that. You know, like we're people too, okay? So um, I just said, yeah, don't, don't steal my money. And then, yeah, after that, she just left. So that was that. That was my experience towards the end. Not the greatest, um, but yeah, I just want to give you guys the real raw experience without any edits or sugar coating like that is what you will expect as a tourist when you go to Ubud art market um, some of the locals will that are selling things will uh, be aggressive with you they will grab you and they will try to take as much money as they can from you um, so bring a lot of change because if you don't have enough change they're not gonna give you the correct cash back well I'm not gonna generalize uh, it just happened with one lady but just be aware that was a real-life experience and I can't lie about it because I got it all on camera so yeah now I'm just gonna chill by this pool and breathe out um, try to let all of that wash away. <laughs> this one's really dry. <laughs> Sour. If you're ever here in Ubud, Bali, and you want to do a lot of shopping, I recommend for the day go to Ubud Art Market and then um, visit the Saraswati Temple which is free to check out and then if you're ever tired after you've eaten go ahead and relax at Park Ubud and bring your swimming clothes if you want to swim and if not you can just relax here order some pastries at the cafe or work at the co-working or just relax like me with some fruit. This one is really not good. <laughs> okay, so there's this guy walking around and kind of kicking everyone out. Basically, if you aren't staying at the accommodation here at Park Ubud or if you're not eating at the restaurants um, you're not allowed to use the sunbeds um, which makes sense it was kind of interesting to have this whole place for free um, but anyways I was going to leave and head out soon because it's almost sunset and I don't want to be driving in the dark so see ya there's like a stage here too Okay guys, so that was Park Ubud. Very beautiful place, huge building. And now we're gonna go to the parking area, which is kind of madness, there's so many bikes here. Let's see if I can find my bike. Ah, here it is. Alright guys, I'm back home. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.